what's going on, y'all? It is your favorite, favorite Auntie Mo. Y'all already know what we're here for. We are back for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is Season 8, Episode 5, Joseph and uh, Sabrina, y'all. Before we get into this review, as always, church announcements. Go ahead and subscribe to your auntie's channel if you ain't already. I sure and appreciate you. Before you leave, let me know what you think about this video. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. That's cool, too. And then hit that notification bell so you will already know. Bing! Auntie got some new shit shit uploaded. Let me go on over here and see what the hell her crazy ass talking about now. Um, I just want to real quick, y'all, before we get into this review, bitch, I got some tea for y'all. Bitch, let me give you the tea. Guess who the hell sent me an email? Bitch, no, just guess. Okay, I ain't gonna let you guess no more. Last week when I did the catfish review for, um, what was that, Jesus and Nicole? Oh, what was it? Jesus and Alexis. That's what it was. How about the catfish shirt? The bitch Nicole, she gonna send me a damn email. Bitch, yes, she did. Guess what the hoe gonna say to me? She gonna say, um, what's up? It's Nicole from Catfish, and I just wanna let you know that, um, MTV Catfish Show, it ain't all what it seemed to be. Some shit like that, she said. I'm gonna put it up on here on the screen. So, you know, your auntie, I was like, oh. Oh, she built some type of way. <laughs> well, I just simply responded back. And I said, well, um, how exactly was it twisted? You know, because from the outside looking in, you did my nigga Jesus kind of wrong. So, what, you know what I'm saying? That was a solid dude. That's my nigga. So, what exactly was twisted about it? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Child, the bitch going to block me. Yes, girl, the bitch gonna block me. And I'm like, what you block me for? I wasn't disrespecting you or nothing like that. I just simply wanted to know what was so twisted about it. So, we already know, Nicole, you watched my videos. Hey, girl, hey. Um, what you block me for, though? I mean, I really don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Because you out here catfishing niggas either way it goes. So, it is what it is. But... All I wanted to know was you you reached out to me. You you came for me. I ain't sent for you now. So you you asked me, you 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 are, I just wanted to know what exactly was twisted about it. What's so twisted about my nigga Neve? He been doing this. He been catching bitches like you. So Houseway. Anyway, so y'all, I got my Moscato. This episode of Catfish, look here. The catfisher and the catfishy, I'm just going to say both these niggas got what the hell they deserved. Because they both out here playing some goddamn games. So guess what? That bitch karma say, I'm going to get you and you two for the price of one on you niggas. Now, how about that? So, hopefully, y'all are ready for this review. I got my Moscato, and I am ready. I'm ready to give y'all this review, y'all. So let's get right on up into it. Y'all, before we get into this, can we just get into Cammy's naturalness for a minute? Like, bitch... Come through with the goddamn line, man, bitch. I ain't mad at you. So, Neva came and get an email from a chick named Nicole, right? Nicole is looking out for her big brother named Joseph. 26, y'all. They from Phoenix, Arizona, right? Been talking to this chick Sabrina for about eight months. They met on Facebook. They ain't never video chatted. She said her brother dumb as hell. Dumber than a box of fucking rocks. So she trying to help this nigga out so he ain't looking stupid out here on these goddamn streets. Because she done already did a little bit digging. So she already know the bitch ain't real. She was like, look here. Because, you know, Neve and Kim, you know, they got a FaceTime or whatever. Hey, bitch. Hey, hey, girl. Hey. So, you know, introduction or whatever. So she was like, look here, my brother dumb out here in these goddamn streets, you know what I'm saying? He older than me, but I'm smarter than him, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to help this nigga out because I already know the bitch he talking to ain't even real because I done already went to the bitch Facebook page and the shit just don't even seem real. Like the people that's on there don't even seem like they really know her. Neve like, oh, word? He like, yeah. She said, um, you want me to uh, call my brother? Neve said, where the nigga at right now? She said, he at work. Neve said, well, pfft. Call a nigga up right now. Shit, what better time than now? So she ends up putting him on three-way, calling her brother, and she like, surprise, surprise, surprise. Here come Neve. Hey, nigga, what's good? <laughs> Your sister called me. It's Mr. Catfish or Catch a Bitch. What's good? He like, bitch, really? You really called these niggas for real? She like, yes, I called them for your dumb ass. I told you you getting catfish at this bitch. You didn't want to believe me, so I bought you Mr. Catfish's goddamn self. What's good? 
He says they met four years ago. They were talking for a little while. Somehow they fell off for about two years. Then out of the blue a year ago, she sends him a message. They back like they never left off off of Facebook, just talking again like ain't nothing goddamn happened. So I'm like, okay, now what the fuck? Now he says recently he just found out that she's 19. Bitch, like, let me tell you what had happened was. What had happened was. Now, first off, Joseph, this nigga think he a player from the Himalaya. You know what I'm saying? He think he <laughs> slick it in a can of motherfucking oil. So he hollering at Sabrina. He says he get a message from some random chick and come to find out that that's her cousin. He hollering at her cousin while he trying to holler at her. So the cousin gets pissed off and it's like, um, she 19 any goddamn way. I don't know why the hell you thought she was older than that because bitch lied to him and said she was 26. I'm like, okay. So, you found out the bitch already done lied to. Now, mind you, you ain't video chatted with this hoe. But then again, at the same time, this nigga ain't asked her to video chat. Like, nigga, how your player skills not asked to see the bitch you talking to? I'm not even understanding that. So, me like, look here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and, uh, ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know what I'm saying? You want us to, to fly to, uh, Phoenix where you at? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and crack this shit open. Or you, you trying to come where we at? Like, what's good? We gonna barbecue meal do what the fuck is good? Because, I mean, if, if you happy, you know what I'm saying? I can just stay the fuck out of it. But you trying to catfish this bitch or trying to catch this bitch, trying to catfish you like, what's up? What's good? He said, yeah, let me go there to where y'all are in L.A. Because, you know what I'm saying? My sister, my people, them nosy. And I really need people in my business like that. So I'm going to go ahead, you know, free trip to LA. You know what I said? Oh, Neve. <laughs> oh, Mr. Catfish. So Neve was like, okay, well, I go ahead and arrange for y'all to come out here. And my sister said, you know what? Let me know what happened when y'all get out there because I'm trying to tell you the bitch ain't real. Brother said, okay, when we get there, if the bitch ain't real, I'm going to get your ass some Cheesecake Factory. All right? Will you be happy then? Bitch, I damn sure would. Hell, I would be all on Google. Let me find the most expensive shit I can about that motherfucker. I'm going to need an appetizer, a main course, and I'm going to need me some dessert afterwards because bitch, I's a lady. <laughs> all right, y'all. So they flew my nigga out there to uh, L.A. where Neve and Cammy is, whatever, right? So Neve and Cammy, they sitting down, they chopping up. Neve like, okay, so now give me the rundown on this bitch. Like, what's good? What's really going on, right? Now, he says that they met on Facebook four years ago. He actually sent her a message. Message, right like damn bitch was good with it you know this nigga like i said he think he a player from the himalayas girl so they started talking they fell off talking for about two years or whatever like i said then all of a sudden bitch came back like she never left and again like i said he said he got this message from this random like what's good come to find out it was her cousin and all that shit or whatever right so he's showing them pictures of Sabrina. And she's real beautiful, right? Now, mind you, he said he just found out that she's 19. That bitch don't look not now, not a 19. Not nothing against the girl, but you, the bitch ain't 19. You can tell that from the goddamn pictures. And he was like, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. But, you know, this nigga sprung over goddamn phone calls and pictures. So... He pretty much believe in any goddamn thing, whatever, right? So Neva scrolling through and they look at through text messages and they see something about a graveyard or a grave site or something like that. And so Neva's like, oh, what's up with this? What happened? He was like, oh, she had a tragic death in her family. That's all he said, right? So they got on the subject of money. Neve is like, all right, so you tricking off money to this bitch too? Because you already sprung on it. Like, what the fuck is good? This nigga said, no, not really. Nigga, what the fuck is no, not really? Nigga, it's a yes or no. It's a black or white. Ain't no gray area to this. This nigga say he done gave her $20 once or twice because she needed something to eat because the bitch apartment burnt down. Bitch, what? They start clowning this nigga. I'd have been clowning his ass too. Like, nigga, you say you sent her $20 two times that's forty dollars because her apartment burned down nigga y'all don't realize you dumb you sound saying that they was clowning this nigga i'd have been clowning his ass too so neva came like look here uh i'm, I'm not even gonna keep on sitting here talking your dumb ass because you finna give me a motherfucking headache we finna go off and do some investigation whatever right they go off and do the goddamn investigation they searching the Facebook account that he has for her they're scrolling searching through the Facebook and they see her with a picture of a little girl they're like, oh, she cute. Little mom, real cute. Who the hell is this? They scroll through, see some more pictures. See, oh, the little girl's name is Elaine. And I love you. I miss you so much. Mommy misses you. They're like, oh, oh, is this the tragic death that she, this bitch lost her baby? What the hell? Girl, 
This bitch got a whole video dedicated to Elaine, her daughter, that passed away. Baby, I love you. I miss you. Mama, show sure enough miss you. I can't wait to see you. Can't wait to be back with you. I just saved me a seat up there. I show enough miss you. Nigga, Carrie, like, now how the hell this nigga not even mention that she had a whole baby, number one, and she had a baby that died? Like, how do you, how do you fucking leave that out? Girl, so this when the shit got fucking weird. They end up doing a photo search of the girl Sabrina with a picture of her little girl. They find a whole nother account with the girl Sabrina and pictures of her. They looking through the goddamn account. Bitch, this account is more believable or this is to be the actual real Sabrina. Pictures of the little girl on there and everything as recent as like a few days ago. So again, it's a whole nother account, but it's Sabrina, a different last name, all her pictures on there with pictures of the baby. The little girl just lying and well, kicking and having a good ass goddamn time. They like, oh no, what the hell is this? So they scroll through, look at a picture, right? They see a picture of Sabrina and her little girl Elaine, and it has her first and last name on the honor roll certificate. Now, as a mother, and Eve, you you use a daddy too. I'm not a fan. I'm not, I'm not trying to offend nobody, no now, no nothing. But I don't think they should have set that little girl first the last name on TV like that. Like, how you going to blur out the name of the person who the catfish or, or whatever is, but you show the first and last name of the little girl, and you practically show her picture. I mean, they blur out her face, but they show the, ooh. I was like, oh, mm, I don't know how I feel like that. I don't let me some catfish, but mm, I don't know if we should do that. But, um... So they end up going to the picture, blowing the picture up, and they can see the name of the school and the name of the principal that's on the little certificate. They end up searching, Googling, finding the school. Neve and Cammie call the little girl school. Again, the shit got kind of, I was like, mm, this is a boundary, and this is, this is kind of where our foot is just a little bit, right? They call the school. Bitch, I don't know if that was a guidance counselor, whoever that's going, yes, can I, yes, can I help you? And uh, he's like, yes, um, this is Neve. I'm filming an episode of Catfish. Guys, Cat's like, yes, nigga, okay. And how, how can I help you, though? She's like, ooh, oh, okay. Um, Well, we have reason to believe that somebody out here catfishing motherfuckers, they using one of your students, and this is who the student is, and I'm going to need you to contact her mama, let her mama know, because this bitch could be out here crazy, killing all kids, none of that. Y'all see fucking Lifetime movies and all of that shit. I'm going to need you to help this goddamn mama out. Goddess Council is like, oh, yes, definitely. Anything we can do to help. We have her here. She's eating lunch right goddamn now. She just left up out of a specials class. She's about to go to PE next. Um, She on a pink dress and bows in her head. Like, she, bitch, ain't that a fucking, like, I know HIPAA is medical, but don't that got something to do with the kids in the school, too? Like, um, you just violated all them kind of rights. That's just me, though. I'm a mama, and I'm a little paranoid. And so, again, I don't feel like that counselor should have confirmed or denied anything. You should have just been like, oh, yeah, word up. Well, this is my email. Send me what you got. I can't confirm or deny nothing. But if we do got somebody here, please believe I'm going to let that mama know because bitches is out here crazy. I watch Lifetime movies and all of that shit. So, yeah, word. Showing up. Appreciate you. They hang up the phone with them. Neve and Cammie end up emailing the counselor all the information that they got, and like, here, I'm gonna need you to please contact this mama, had this mama contact me. I was like, that got to be some kind of violation. So they go back to Joseph, tell his ass what's up. This nigga like, he about to goddamn cry. They like, nigga, why you ain't telling us nothing about this bitch having a baby, and the baby done passed away, went on the glory and all that. You ain't said nothing to nobody. He said, well, it's a real touchy, you know, touchy, sensitive subject for her. She don't really like talking about it, not about it, you know, and I just didn't want to bring it up to her. Now, Joseph claims that she told him the little girl was with her dad, ran outside, and got hit by a doggone car. That's how she passed away. I'm like, damn. Who that's harsh. I, I damn so hope she ain't making this shit up. Then they get on the subject again about this money or whatever. This nigga does admit that he sent her money for her nails a few times. Plus, sent her money. She asked for money to go and clean her daughter's headstone. 
this bitch cold-blooded. You ask this nigga one thing, I mean, if the nigga gonna trick off his money, you know, little $20, $30 here and there, go get your little nails, your little toes done. But nigga, you done swine this nigga out of some money to clean a headstone for... Bitch, you on a hell. So as they sitting down talking, Neve ends up getting a call from the real Sabrina. She called like, uh, nigga, what's good? Who the fuck is you? Why the fuck you calling my baby school? Who I got to fucking cut? Neve like, no, no, no. Look here, calm down, pump the brakes. I'm just trying to help you out. This Neve from Catfish. She like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Why are you calling my baby school, though? He was like, look here, look, we, we got reason to believe it's a bitch out here catfishing bitches that she using your picture, using your baby picture, and then go have the nerve to kill your baby off. So we just kind of trying to call and let you know, because, you know, bitches is crazy out here. Lifetime Movie Network. Ain't no telling what this hoe could be doing out here. Sabrina like, bitch, what? Oh, hell no. What you need me to do? I hop on a first thing smoking if you need me to. We need to find this bitch because she playing with my baby. <laughs> I cut bitches over my baby. Neve like, don't worry about it. Calm down. Whoop de whoop. I'm going to let you know when I get in contact with this bitch, whoever this bitch is. But trust me, I got you, girl. Don't even worry about it. Neve say, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. Give this bitch number. I'm going to call her goddamn ass. Neve goes outside and calls her, right? She like, um, he said, what's good? Uh, can I speak to Sabrina? She like, uh, this Sabrina, what's good? Now, the bitch already hesitating. That's how you know that bitch I think, well, am I Sabrina today? Yeah, I'm Sabrina. What's good? How can I help you? Neve is like, uh, look here. Bitch, the jig is up. I got your nigga Joseph here. Joseph, no, you ain't real. So what we gonna do? Barbecue and meal do. We try to meet up. What's good? This heifer gonna say, okay, so look here. He know I ain't real, so what's the point now? He ain't gonna love me no more, so what's the point now? Neve like, wait, wait, hey, hold on. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm just trying to see what's good. What you trying to do? This heifer gonna say, well, no, nope. You just ruined everything for me, and I just can't do it. But hang up the phone. Neve like, bitch, what? Oh, no, this hoe didn't. Neve go back in and tell Joseph, like, look here. I think I might have scared the bitch off. Uh, she done hung up in my goddamn face talking about I ruined everything. Can't even say, bitch, what? Oh, no, hell no. Call that hoe back. You need to do something, goddammit. They tell him, Joseph, look here. I'm going to need you to put on your best player skills. Text this hoe. Let her know. Hey, look here. Ain't no beat, bitch. We're just trying to meet you, trying to see what's good so we can we can come out the closet about it. everything that's goddamn going on, right? He like, all right, cool. Bet. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Sends her a message. They like, nigga, you sent her a message that quick? A sentimental message? Like you trying not to scare the bitch off? What you sent her? He's like, I got this. Call me, shorty. I beg your pardon. Call me, shorty. But the bitch responds back. I just can't talk right now. I'm emotional and I just can't even do it. <laughs> Neve, like, give me this goddamn phone, your whack ass goddamn game. Neve sends her all sentimental, baby, please, just listen. I just want to talk. I flew all this way to see you, and I'm willing to fly across the country to see you because I love you, girl. Like, just give me a fucking chance. So she agrees to meet, says, all right, cool. We can meet up tomorrow. I'm going to send y'all an address where I'm going to be at. Y'all going to meet me over there. they like, all right, cool. Bitch, the meet up. Y'all, she sends them the address to where to meet her up at, right? It's at this park. They pull up to the park, and they like, well, hell, where the heck could she be at? Child, they look way off in the distance. They see these big-ass bushes. Child, she's sitting up there hiding in the bushes on some old crazy white boy stalker jeepers creeper type shit, hiding in the bushes, like... When they go towards walking towards her ass, the bitch walks off. <laughs> it was fucking weird. She just goes and walks off. And um, came like, oh no, hell no, but uh, hello, excuse me, a lady, ma'am, hello. She's steady walking away. And now they like, what the? Are we supposed to follow the bitch? What is we goddamn doing? Charles so was like, you know what, Joseph, my nigga, this all you. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go follow this bitch, cause uh, we came here for your goddamn ass. Child, he ends up going up to her, sitting down on the bitch, and 
bitch, we meet Sabrina. Now, Sabrina is beautiful. She's a beautiful BBW. Beautiful girl. Don't nobody come in here say nothing twisted. Now, I will say this. She way bigger than that nigga. Like, in a fist fight, she, she could take his goddamn ass. That was a tall ass girl. I'm like, oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. But she was goddamn beautiful. So, child, Joseph over there, like, what's up? Like, you could have told me, like, what's going on? Like, you know, so, like, what's going on? She was like, my bad. That was just the only profile that I made. You know, I, I just can't even talk about it. Child, she tries to go and walk away and be like, oh, bitch, where you going? Hold on. What's going on? Leave from Catfish. I can't let you leave just like that bitch. Come right on back around here. Now, look here. What's going on with all these goddamn profiles? What's going on with you? What's your name, huh? What's, what's your name? She says her name is Patricia. She's 20 years old, and she started the profile four years ago. Nee was like, why the fuck you do that? She claims the first story she tells, she says that she was a sophomore in high school. This guy asked her out on a date to the movies. She goes to the movies and she's sitting there. She's waiting, waiting, waiting. He doesn't show up. He sends her a text message saying, ah, it was a joke. Psych, it was a bet. I don't give a damn about you. She felt really, really bad. Self-esteem was at an all-time low, so she decided that she wanted to feel pretty. She wanted to be called pretty, so she decided to make that profile. So they're like, okay, so what was up with the cousin and all of that? Come to find out, bitch, that was her too. After you sat up there and lied and said that was the only one profile that she made for Sabrina. So child, when the cousin contacted him that was trying to holler at him, Bitch, this hoe was arguing with her own goddamn self because supposedly when he got caught, they was arguing with each other, Sabrina and the cousin. This bitch was arguing with her damn self. They all like, bitch, what? Then she's like, hold on, let me just say, I'm not even, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even trying to. This half says she really did lose a daughter. She says April 2015, she had a daughter. Daughter was in the NICU. She came early. She wasn't fully developed. Neve was like, you mean she was premature? She was like, yeah, yeah, that is, that's what it was. She was premature. Says she was in the hospital. She was bored as her daughter was passing away. So she decided to go ahead and make the Sabrina profile because she needed something to do. Neve like, oh, bitch, hold on. Time out, flag on a motherfucking play. You just said... You had made that profile when old boy from your school had stood your ass up at the movie theater. So, bitch, what is we doing here? What the fuck is going on? Child, she tries to get out of it by crying. And I was just so upset. And I was just so distraught. And I just didn't know what to do. And I, all of this. Neve is like. Okay, well, we're going to give you some time. We're going to go ahead and regroup tomorrow. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and give you some time. You know what I'm saying? We'll hook up with your ass tomorrow or whatever, right? Now, they already know the bitch lying. They know her ass goddamn lying. Child, so they meet up the next day to kind of regroup and talk about some shit, right? Again, they want to try to see if this bitch going to really come forth with some kind of truth because they already know the bitch is lying. Soon as they walk in, this heifer going to say she got a text message from an area code that's from the same area code that he's from. And the text was like, F you, you fat bitch, and, and I'm going to do this to you when I see you, and you ain't shit, and your mama ain't shit, and your babies ain't shit, just going off on her, whatever, right? And she was like, I thought maybe you did it, or maybe somebody that you know did it, because it's the same area code where you're from. He was like, well, hold on, let me look at that number, 408. Mm. That ain't why I'm from, boo-boo. I'm from 480. That ain't me. Bitch, y'all should have seen her look a dumb on her goddamn face. She lied. She basically tried to throw them off and try to get some sympathy for herself and make it seem like she out here being bullied. And he like, on top of that, bitch, don't nobody even know I'm out here but my sister. And we tight like panties. So she ain't told no goddamn body. So now, nah, bitch, uh, you still out here with this bullshit? But he, that ain't what he said to her, but he already knew. Bitch, you lying. So Nee was like, see, <laughs> she on the same old bullshit. Neve gives him a little minute to talk. Basically, long story short, Joseph like, look here, uh, Rama, I'm gonna have to go ahead and part ways with your motherfucking ass because uh, the shit you did it was just too goddamn weird for me. 
But uh, best of luck to you, and you will find somebody to love your ass. Child, two months later, they do a little checkup with him, whatever, right? Child, they FaceTime Joseph. This nigga got his grills in his mouth. Nick can barely talk, trying to hold them goddamn grills in. They like, uh, what's good, Joseph? Neve. I'm going to need your ass to not never now know to say what you said. Neve going to say, what's up with the grills? I was like, oh, I love me some Neve, but Neve, don't ever say that to nobody else in your fucking life. He trying to talk and hold them goddamn grills. He like, yeah, I'm doing good. I just I ain't got time to be out here. Fuck with these females and they out here catfishing niggas. You know what I'm saying? But nigga doing good, nigga straight. That's what he on. He ain't with nobody else. Try to check in with Patricia. She got a girlfriend now. In real life. Which I don't goddamn believe. <laughs> I don't believe nothing that goddamn girl said. She was crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. Beautiful girl. But batshit goddamn crazy. If y'all see this episode, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see you in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.